Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen and in today's video I have a schoolroom declutter video for you. If you watched my homeschool room tour you heard me mention that I needed to declutter it. So I figured since it's a new year, well not a new school year but just a new calendar year, that it would be the perfect time to just kind of go through the whole school room, see what we use, what we don't use. Um, and so that's what I'm going to be doing in today's video. It's probably going to be over several uh, videos because it is a lot and I don't want it to get too long for you guys. Um, so if you are interested in seeing me declutter my schoolroom, I hope that you'll continue watching. This is pretty much the way my home schoolroom is looking today. Um, and we've been doing school all week, so pretty much everything's just out of place. Um, and then I will be decluttering over a few days, so I hope you will enjoy. So I'm going to start right here on this um, shelf right here, because there are things in here that we don't use and we pretty much haven't used um, starting with those things specifically I've had them since my son was in kindergarten and we used them but we haven't used them in a few years so I think it's time to kind of let these things go so these go with a science unit that I have from the good and the beautiful so I'm gonna keep this so, it could, so we can do the science unit as well as this. And then we have a keys of history game that I'm probably going to put with all our games. I'm going to keep that. And then we have this little um, farm set that I got. Um, and basically we're doing a farming unit from gather round over the summer. So that's what we had that for, but we haven't finished the farming unit. So I'm going to keep this until we finish the farming unit. And then we have these, um, my son still likes doing these things. So I'm probably going to keep this. So I guess basically I'm keeping everything in this drawer, which is fine. So in here I have these things that I got from the Target dollar spot or bullseye's corner, whatever, however you want to call it. Um, I got these to go with our science units, so I'm probably going to keep these at least until we do those science units. And that's what these are here. This I'm probably going to end up getting rid of because we've had it for a while and we don't, I mean, we've done a few things out of it, but a lot of the times we don't have what we need to do some of these things. So probably going to go ahead and get rid of this. And so now it fills up space. So going into our next bin, I actually just got this for the use this year um, for parts of speech. So I'm going to hold on to this for a little bit longer. I have this and my intention with this was to put like spelling words or have things on like that for him. But honestly, we will always forget that we have it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. And these little... cubes right here. I think I'm going to keep these for a while because we still do use these. So I'll keep these. Up here we have this game. Um, and we still do do that. So I'll keep that. And then in here let's see. Oh. <laughs> More pentagram. Maybe Let's see. So I have this one. So I have this one down here. This 
I don't need two of them. So, this, I will, I'm going to get rid of this one and I'm going to keep this one. And then in here we have um, dog crimes and cat crimes. We actually like these games, so I'm going to keep these ones right here. And I put them in these uh, little bags, which I'm kind of regretting doing now. Um, I wish I would have kept them in the box, but it actually turned out okay because now I could fit both of them in here, so I guess it's fine. And then we do do this every now and then. We like to do these brain quizzes. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. So out of this drawer, I'm keeping um, our dog and cat crimes game, our brainstorming game, and our tenograms. And we're going to keep that, which fell. So I'm going to put that together. So I think what I'm going to do is put all these down here with these ones, since these ones are for unit studies. Um, and then that way I'll have them all together. So that's done. I have an empty drawer. Um, this is everything to do with language. These are more like critical thinking games. So keep those there. All right, so continuing on up. These are some language arts games. I actually found these at a thrift store for like a really good price. So... I'm going to hold on to these for a little bit because um, we do play with them. We have uh, days called Enrichment Day, and so a lot of this stuff gets used then, so I'm going to keep that, and I'm keeping these. Um, I've had these for a long time, too, but we do still use them when we do our Enrichment Days, and even though it's below his grade level, I think it's okay because he's reviewing, and so sometimes it's good to have like those review days, especially in the form of a game. So I'm going to keep those. And then up here, we have some more things. This is actually like a nice little thing. It's like a, called Roll a Story. So basically, you have these dice, and you roll them out, and you make a story out of them with the, whatever picture you have on there. So that's actually kind of fun. So I'm going to keep this one. We like to play games. So keeping that. Um, this comes with, I think, I think it's this one. I'm probably going to get rid of this one because I don't really need this one anymore. This one's for na uh, nouns and proper nouns, but he's kind of old enough where he realizes if it has a capital, it's a proper noun. If it doesn't, it's a common noun. So I'm probably going to go ahead and get rid of this game. And it comes with these things and, um. You just put them into their proper thing, but he's like older now, so and not only that, we've played with this enough times where he already knows what goes where. Um, and then we have contractions. I think I'm gonna keep this one for a little bit longer because we still do do these. We still do play with this on our enrichment days. So I'm gonna keep this. He likes to do puzzles, so that's actually kind of nice to have around. Um, oh, these are Spanish word puzzles. We're going to keep this because we're learning Spanish. So it's like a, so even though it's like simple little words and stuff, we're, it's new to us. So I'm going to keep this one. And then I have these that I also had for a really long time. Got these at Walmart a few years ago. Pretty much you play games with them and uh, they're like prefixes and suffixes and then you use them and you do words with them. Probably going to go ahead and get rid of this. We used to do these all the time but we haven't really reached for it to play with so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Um, and then we have Bananagrams which I'm going to keep because... It's kind of like scramble in a sense. You get these letter tiles and you do words with them, which I think is great. I think you could do that at any age. Just help with spelling. So, keeping that. 
So out of this drawer, we're keeping that game, keeping this puzzle, these contraction puzzles, and the Rilla story game. So in our next bin, gonna get rid of these. We've had these for a really long time, um, but we have the, this play money now. So I think it's safe to get rid of these now. Besides, I think he ends up just playing with them and I kind of find them everywhere. So we're gonna get rid of this. Um, we have some change here. Is actually to go with we did the good and the beautiful math over summer break at one point a few years ago. And in the kit, you had to put like some change in there. So that's what this is. I'm probably just going to put this in our coin jar because I don't think we need it any longer. So I'm going to set that aside, not throwing that away. Um, I have this coin money game that I found, Teachers Pay Teachers. So I had printed it up and everything. So I'm probably going to keep this for a little while. Um, just because it is like a money game and stuff, and so it's not going to hurt to have that. And it also came with these little game pieces that you print up. So we have that, and we have our thing of money here. So I think that's good there. So moving up more, we have a clock. We have another clock, so I'm probably going to get rid of this clock. I'm going to keep this clock. We have some geometric shapes, which I'm going to keep. See, more money. Found find these things everywhere. Um, let's see. What's in here? Okay, so these are more of the little games that I found um <clears throat> at Walmart a few years ago. He's already past this point, like he knows ten minus nine is one. So Gonna go ahead and get rid of those. There's some games we don't need anymore. Um, so these are clock games, which go with this clock. So I'm gonna still keep these. And then these are manipulatives that go with that good and the beautiful math that we did a few few years ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these because we don't really use them anymore. Some more tannic ground pieces. This all came with that math kit. This, these, this little dice thing. I actually kind of like those. I might keep those. Um, we have some fraction pieces. Um, probably going to get rid of these because I have some other fraction pieces. So all this stuff came with are good in the beautiful math set. So I'm probably going to end up getting rid of this because we're doing math you see now and we're going to have these uh, what are they called? Base 10 bricks. We're going to have all these base 10 bricks in that kit. So all this stuff I'm going to get rid of. Probably going to keep these geometric shapes. So those might come in handy when we get to geometries and things like that. I'm going to keep this little ruler right here because that's pretty handy to have. Um, these are some cards that I made um, for multiples. So I'm probably going to just keep these for a little bit longer. Just for review purposes when we do our Richmond Day games. And I'm pretty sure this goes with that clock. It looks like it goes with it. So these are more of those uh, math games that came with that good and the beautiful math set. I don't even think they sell this math thing anymore but these are all the games that came with it so I'm gonna go ahead and just let go of all of this stuff actually what I might do is cut out these tanagram ones and then put them with our other tanagram pieces but maybe not so much the the game things so because they can split down the middle and I think it will fit in there and if it doesn't, I'll just get rid of it. But so I'm gonna get rid of these. I don't even remember why I kept these. I think I thought that we were gonna play with them, but we haven't. So those are more tenogram pieces. 100 chart. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. And then these 
I'm going to split these up and put them with that Tanagram set that I kept. Oh, and this is a, a activity guide for this clock set. So just keep make sure that stays together. And yeah, I think that goes with that. So just keep that together. And some dice. I'm actually kind of glad I'm going through this stuff because I kind of forgot that I had it. I don't know. Do I really need these? Let's see. What do they look like? I don't know. What would I even do with these? Let's get rid of them. It's okay. Can't keep it just because I like it and I think it's cute. Isn't it cute though? It's like little dice cards. <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and put this here. Keep these shapes. Maybe I could put these together. Condense them into one bag. What just happened? Oh, it broke. whole part just came off. That's okay. Maybe I need a new supply bag. So now that's condensed and we have our multiple cards. I'm going to go ahead and put these under this. So remember to take those apart and put those in there. And then now we are coming to our final door, drawer. We have this. Um, I'm probably going to keep this. It's kind of fun to have when we're playing games. We like to play games. And then these are just like little chips and stuff. I'm going to keep those because we do play games. And then in also some more chips and then some like different sided die. So I'm going to keep those. And then all these I got at the Dollar Tree um, to go with our unit studies. So I'm probably going to keep these until we do the unit studies and we no longer use them or need them. So that's going to stay there for now. This, I think I'm going to put with our math manipulatives. So I think that's pretty much it for this drawer. We have our little figures right here for science units in this top one. We have math related manipulatives, some more math ones, uh, some language ones, some more language. Some critical thinking type things, some language, ooh, an empty drawer, and some unit study stuff. So, all in all, I feel pretty happy about what happened here. Now we have a clean space up here, but I do need to dust it. But overall, it's a lot neater now, and I have an empty uh, drawer in here now. I use this right here to put my stuff on there. So, so far, just out of that one um, set of organizing bins, I got all of this stuff that I'm not keeping anymore. Um, so I feel pretty good about what's happening right now. I mean, I guess it's pretty good for me because I don't really like getting rid of educational stuff because I feel like at some point I might need it. And then if I get rid of it, I won't have it and I'll have to go out and buy it again. But if I'm honest with myself, a lot of this stuff we haven't used in a couple of years so I feel like it's safe to go ahead and donate it. Um, so. so moving on next, I am going to tackle this cart here. On this cart, I like to keep my flash cards. So let's see what we can get rid of from here. So I am keeping these because we are doing Spanish. So it's upside down. That would help if I turned it the right way. We are keeping those. Um, I think we're going to get rid of these. These went with our Abeka curriculum. So I actually still have that curriculum. What I'm going to do is put it all together and see if I could 
possibly donate it. And then these are some more flashcards that came with uh, the Abeka curriculum kit. So I have that one and I have this one. So phonics CD. So pretty sure we're past this point. I'm gonna go ahead and put it with my other Abeka stuff that I can see if I could donate it. Um, we have some spelling rules flashcards. These came from the good and the beautiful. I think I'm gonna keep these for a while because we'll still use them. And we have some more Abeka flashcards. How did I end up? Oh yeah, uh, anyways. We have some more Abeka flashcards. I'm gonna see if I could donate those with my Abeka stuff. We have these, I had good intentions with these. I can't even remember what I was gonna do with them, but I think we're gonna just go ahead and get rid of those. They were a dollar in like the Target dollar section. So I'm gonna get rid of those. Have these flashcards. I think I'm gonna keep these for a while because we do use them on our enrichment today's. So we have a uh, presidents, we have states. Oh, we have another presidents one. Um, is this one like an updated one? Oh yes, it is an updated one. So we'll keep this one. Keeping this one, it's an updated one, donating this one. We have solar system ones. We're going to keep those. What is this? Oh, sight words. I think it's safe to get rid of these ones. We're way past that point. He's in fifth grade now. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those ones. Some telling time flashcards, but we do have that time telling game, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these. Um, here's some what are these like landmarks? We'll keep those ones, go with our state one. Um, and then we have animal ones. I'm gonna keep these ones because he likes animals, and um, it's nice that it has like different facts on the back that we can read about. Let's see, I have these coin classroom coins that came with our Abeka curriculum way back in the first grade that we haven't used since. Haven't needed them. So I'm going to go ahead and put that with my Abeka stuff to donate. We have some more Spanish flashcards keeping those. French and German pronunciation. I'm going to keep these because we like learning different languages. So I'm going to keep those. What is this one? Chinese, keeping that. Spanish, keeping that. And what is this one? Oh, Spanish, keeping that. So we're going to keep those ones. Let's see. Cat facts. going to keep this one. They're also playing cards. Got these at Target, but we like playing games, so I'm gonna keep that one. And we have dog facts, and I have this. Um, I got it for PE, so they're like little cards. And what you do with them is you you grab you uh, you get the cards. And I thought it would just be fun to have, so I'm gonna keep these. So. I'm going to put these back in the case. And we have musical multiplication. Got these from the good and the beautiful. I still have him do them on enrichment days. I mean, like the way that I see it, I feel like review is always a good thing. And it just kind of makes it a little funner doing review when you can make it into a game or like a song. So I'm going to go ahead and keep these. At least until the school year's over. And then once we don't do our enrichment days anymore, we'll probably go ahead and donate these. But as of right now, I'm going to keep those. 
and that is the first tray so this is what I'm keeping um, that's going with my Abeka stuff and these are the flashcards from that pile that I'm going to get rid of and I think I'm going to find a new home for these after I'm done decluttering the schoolroom just because I kind of want to get rid of this blue thing out of here but for now, I'm going to go ahead and put these back in here. Then maybe just organize them a little bit better. I did go through a phase where I put all of these in like a container and that's why they're out of the boxes. Um, and then obviously I took them out, but you know, it's okay. I keep trying to organize, trying to find a nice way to organize everything. So let's move on to this section right here. So these I'm keeping, I have this little library system, but that's for another time. We have these, I got these from Book Outlet. I'm going to keep these because we're always going to be doing history and they have um, different people, explorers, and different little facts about them. So I'm going to keep those. Have some glue there. Some random stuff oh I have these these are labels I put them on my bookshelf um, and I have everything in sections so let's go ahead and take this box out all right so oh that's actually an instruction manual to my wire binding machine so I'm gonna keep that here's some more Abeka flashcards uh, we've been doing Abeka since like my son was in first grade and he's in fifth grade now and we're going to be switching over to sunlight after next year. But anyways, a lot of these flashcards that I do have are from Abeka. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in my Abeka donation pile um, since we don't use them anymore. We haven't used them in a while. I think it was more like a first grade, second grade type of thing. Um, as well as these number cards. But on the back they had like the hundreds, tens, and ones place corresponding with whatever number was on the front. So these are all stuff we no longer have a use for, so it's time to pass those on. Um, we also have these arithmetic concept cards for third and fourth grade. Obviously don't need those, he's in fifth grade. And we also have these concept cards for first to second grade, don't need those anymore either. So all these cards I'm gonna put back in here, but I am going to donate these with my other Rebecca flashcards. So I'll probably just stick those all in here since that's what I'm planning to do with that. So here's all my Rebecca flashcards. I'll go ahead and set that aside. It's separate from my other pile. So I actually did pretty good in there. So this is all I'm keeping from that section as well as my little cars right here. And we have that stuff. Deal with that later. All right, so we're gonna tackle this next. So in here, we have our mathlete cubes, which I think I'm gonna put in my other bin with my math manipulative. So I'll set that aside for now. And then we have our stencils, our letter stencils. So, um, to be honest, we haven't really used these in a long time, so I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these. And we have these. I think he already drew out of one of these, but these are just things that he can come and grab and use, so I'm going to keep that. And then, this is like a little stencil thing I found at Target, but we don't really use that either, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. And then we have these blank books to create your own books, which he likes to do. He likes to do stories and stuff, so we're going to go ahead and keep that. So I guess we're keeping that drawer. And this next one, we have a bunch of stamps. Um... 
Mm -hmm. I feel like he still uses those. I'm going to keep those. We have some lace-up cards. And I haven't seen him going for these in a long time. So I'm pretty sure he outgrew them. So I'm going to go ahead and donate these. But I need to see if I can find a container to put them in. So for now, I'll probably just stick the door over here. And this next one we have our, his Play-Doh stuff with some like cookie cutters and some kinetic sand that we're keeping all of this because he still does like to go for that every now and then. And in here, let's see, we have this food group thing that we haven't really used in a long time. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. Oh, we have some more kinetic sands. I guess it didn't fit in the other bin that goes with the food thing. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And we have these magnets. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep these and hold on to them for a little bit longer. Just because when we do science, there are things that have to do with um, magnets and things like that. This is our tablet, keeping that. We have some more little manipulatives. So as you can tell, I like things like this when we're doing unit studies to have them out. So I'm going to go ahead and keep these. And then these are my fraction pieces. So that's why I'm getting rid of those other fraction pieces I took out earlier. Because I have all of these. Keeping that. And here we have these little whiteboards. Um, we don't really use these anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. We have... It's like a hole punch, but I have a hole punch, so I don't really need this one. I'm going to get rid of that. I have this. I'm going to keep this, but I'm going to put it somewhere else with our math things. Um, and then we have this clipboard, which I'm keeping because we could put worksheets in them when we go somewhere and it has a clipboard and everything, and we could still use it. Up here, we have this felt map of the United States as well as Antarctica and in it are like different animals and stuff but I think we're gonna go ahead and let this go now we've had it for a long time and I mean we used it and we loved it and now it's time to let that go um up here is just for our school store so I'm gonna keep that stuff next section I wanted to tackle today and it's probably gonna be the last section because I feel like this video is gonna get pretty long um, but I have these sentence building dominoes. Keeping these. These are different activities to do since we're learning Spanish. I'm going to go ahead and keep this stuff. What's that? I don't know what that is. Gotta figure that out. So we have these Spanish things. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep the Spanish things for now. Because we all have a desire to learn Spanish. These are some more Rebecca Phonics flashcards that were for K through third grade. And we've pretty much got our use out of these. I put them all in the sheet protectors to preserve them because I wanted to keep them. But now that I think about it, I don't really need to keep them anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and put these with all my other Abeka donation items. And I have these like wooden box things um, that I don't really have any use for. So I'm going to get rid of those. Um, so now that frees up space to put my Spanish things here. And my sentence building blocks I'm going to put with my language art stuff in my other bin. We have some games, keeping these because we do like games. We have this Oregon Trail game. I'm going to keep that. Um, this I got for Enrichment Day. Obviously, they're like for sight words and stuff. But, we're past that. But, it has in it, the reason why I got it, I didn't get it for these. But I did get it because it has pockets in them. So, my intention was when we play games... For enrichment day, I'm going to put spelling word cards in here and then have him spell them before he looks down at it. And so, like, he's going to 
So basically like jump around from thing to thing. So that's why I got these. So I'm probably going to let these cards go. Um, but that was my purpose for these. So I'm going to keep these because we still use them. And I figured that would be a good way to retain his spelling words. Um, this, we have this game, keeping that game. And then in these boxes... which I think, yep, this goes with this. So it should have been in here. I'm glad I didn't get rid of that. So it's just like these little things I got. Um, he's really into this kind of things, like building Legos, building anything he could build, um, magnet, racetracks, stuff like that, whatnot. He likes all this stuff. So I'm keep this. And then down here, we have a solar system puzzle that he still likes to do, a USA puzzle, and a world map puzzle. So I'm going to keep all those because he still likes to do those puzzles. And we still do do them when we do our enrichment days. So out of this pile, I'm keeping that. I'm probably going to put this with our language stuff. And then have these games right here. Stick them up there a little neater. So that's that shelf. All right, so we have our next shelf. We have um, some Birds of North America flashcards from Rebecca. But I actually think I'm going to keep these because he's really into, like, bird watching. So that's going to come in handy for us. Also insects. But this is all stuff that he likes. So even though it came with Rebecca, they have, um, like, facts and stuff about these animals. And these are also cards that I had to buy separately. So I'm going to go ahead and keep these just because he's into this kind of stuff. And now I don't have to go out and buy a book about it. I already bought the flashcards. We have this Spanish learning folder. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to actually put it down here with my other Spanish stuff. We have a history book. We did this with the good and the beautiful, but we've already finished it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. We saw, also have this that we did over our summertime. We didn't quite finish it. I like to, as you can tell, I like to do review a lot with my son because I feel like it's important to do review. So I have this. We didn't quite finish it, but I'm going to go ahead and throw this away. I don't think it could really like donate it be just because it's been written all over and then we have this word a day with some vocabulary words um but we never really use it i've had it since he was in third grade and we've never really gotten into it so i'm going to go ahead and donate that and then we also did this over the summer but we did do it so i'm going to just go ahead and throw this away And here we have these little things right here. Um, but I don't think we're really going to use those. I'm going to go ahead and donate those. We have some kids' Bible songs. So I'm thinking I'm going to keep these. It's another CD. I'm going to keep that one. Um, and then in it, we have some more Becca songs that go with the different grade levels. So I'm going to go ahead and put this with our Becca donation pile. But I'm probably going to keep these because it has, you know, obviously this one's about birds and stuff. And since he likes that kind of thing, I'm going to keep those. Hundred Bible stories, a hundred Bible songs. So we have these other two CDs. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate that one. And then in here, what do we have? What's with like a lion thing? I don't know. Let's throw that away. So out of all that, we're keeping these things. I'm gonna put it back in here. What else? Let's see. We have our nature notebook. I'm gonna keep that. Um, these are his, uh, sticker books he likes to do, so I'm keeping these. How to Draw Faces, 
calligraphy, art. This is all stuff he likes and he still does it. So like he'll come and grab these and work on these things. So I'm going to go ahead and keep those things. Um, these are like little worksheets I got for summertime review. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw these away. We've used them. Um, we didn't get through all of them, but there's, I used them mostly for review things. I'm going to go ahead and throw those away. Reading comprehension, throwing that away. Reading comprehension, we've done all these. We just didn't finish them, so I thought maybe I could put them up there for him to do. Um, but he doesn't really do them. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of those. There's just some pages that haven't been done. But that's okay. And then we have a starter Spanish for preschool to first grade. I'm not quite sure. Um, we have a Spanish program that we're using. So I don't know. Um, I'm going to think about this. I don't know. I don't think we need this. Let me go ahead and get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, and then we have this critical thinking notebook we got from Good and the Beautiful. And we did do it. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that away. We didn't finish it, but I don't think we're going to. We have this nature dot to dot. So we're going to keep that. I'm going to put this one in our little art pile. We have building thinking skills which we already did we did these all summer and we pretty much finished the book we're about halfway through it so I might keep these we have about half to go but I think that'll be good summertime stuff and then we have these time telling things which I'm going to keep some Bible word search keeping that summer bridge activity books gonna throw this away we got a good amount of it done so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that I can't really donate it at this point some more worksheets these actually came as supplementary exercises with the Becca curriculum um we're probably not gonna do these this was from fourth grade and my plan was to do them over summertime but obviously we didn't get to it we're gonna have more of those anyway so I'm gonna throw those away early Spanish workbook just has some like Spanish things I'm gonna keep this I'm gonna put it in our Spanish pile down here and then we have some Bible worksheets we're gonna keep that put it over here in this pile with activity books and we have this handwriting thing that he did over the summer like two summers ago level two so we're gonna get rid of that he already finished it so this is pretty much what we're left with. We'll probably condense these now. So different activities that he could come do. So we got rid of a box. Um, this is pretty much what we're left with. Some activity books that he can do on his own. Some art books to do. Some CDs. We're going to keep these. He's still into that stuff. And we have just one thing of activity books now, one thing of art books, one thing of CDs and DVDs. We have our games down here, puzzles, Spanish workbooks, and whatnot. And then all this other stuff on the shelf I am keeping because that is our sixth grade curriculum. So, can't get rid of that yet. But, I say it's looking pretty good now. So we have, that looks a lot neater, that's neater, that's throw away or recycle. Here's all the stuff I'm getting rid of. And then that's our Abeka donation pile. So we're pretty, we're off to a pretty good start at this point. So I have that done, that done, and this done. But I'm going to go ahead and cut that for today. Um, so this might be multiple parts just in our schoolroom because I feel like it's getting long already. So that's pretty much it for this video today, um, and I hope you'll have a blessed day.